everybody, welcome to my day 23 of 100 days of making comics. The comic making adventure created by Kevin Cross that says for 100 consecutive days, no matter what's going on in your life, uh, you have to take at least a half hour out of your day to put towards making your comic. Um, for me today, that uh, comic I'm working on is Mr. Green's Monster Zine. Um, all the art's done for it. Um, the stories are written for each of the characters, uh, but what I have to do still is um, basically copy and paste each of them from Instagram, the stories, uh, to Photoshop, uh, format them for that. And there's a, a bit of editing, uh, each one of those. Some of them were late nights and putting the story together, and the story's there, but some of the sentencing and phrasing, um, just semantic stuff will probably have to be fixed a little bit so that's why I got started on tonight I got uh, uh, two of those done um, only two because it took me a while to actually figure out how to accomplish this in Photoshop which I'm sure for a lot of folks is an easy thing that goes pretty quickly uh, but for me um, it's most things I do in Photoshop are kind of a first time and uh, I was having trouble because I cut and paste and post it over there but it was posting in just one great big long thing so I had to learn how to use the pen tool and uh, definitely just for that specific task I still know all the other stuff it does but um, I was able to sort of format the area I needed and do that I also need to figure out because uh, it'll be an image on one side and then text on the other similar to like a you know kid's storybook or something like that um, but I want some other little flare stuff on the page, like more than just the text. I don't know if just, uh, like scroll work in the corners, that type of thing. I'm not sure exactly what, um, an image kind of grayed out, uh, with the opacity down on, you know, behind the text. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um... But that's what I kind of got going on for that. Uh, I'm not showing that because I don't um, have a bunch of, or I don't know how to do the screen share thing too well, and and just it's not interesting at all. Um, uh, the images I am showing you uh, for my challenge kind of this week is uh, families in town, which I'm so excited to see my mom. Um, but as I'm sure all of us know, family stuff. Um, can bring a certain amount of anxiety, but, you know, it's all good. I'm, I'm glad we're spending time together, and we're having a great time so far. Uh, but the uh, day was a bit long, and so it's a little, little bit late getting to this. Um, but anyway, uh, so the image of me creating art today was very not interesting, so I thought I'd show you a little bit from our travels around town today. So if you're needing anything to draw, just pause it on any one of these little strange little yard statue things and there's something pretty cool to check out uh, but we did this and then what you'll see here in a little bit is we went to a place called Taylor Shellfish Farm and it was kinda cool looking because the tide was out really far so you could kinda go walking down in the mud and uh, check that out but it's a place where uh, it's a shellfish farm so clams and all that stuff uh, oysters they get there and then you walk to it, and it's not exactly a restaurant, it's like a deli almost, but just this sort of clams and oysters and everything. You can buy however much you want, you can buy a bottle of wine or some beers, and then they have a bunch of grills set up out back. And uh, you go and you just cook everything up yourself. They had a couple frozen crab cakes for sale, and you just kind of take your own grilling supplies and throw it all on there and just sort of hang out, so... Uh, this was on just a little ga art gallery place on the way down that I thought was interesting. But uh, and like I said here in a little bit, that shellfish farm um, is where I'll be hanging out. Kind of rad looking when the tide's way out. Oh, there it is. Anyway, folks, I'll let you uh, just check this out for the remainder. Cheers. And uh, I don't have much else to say today. It'll be a challenge getting more stuff tomorrow. I think the best thing... I didn't get any writing in today like I thought I might, kind of in between stuff, because uh, I'm wanting to write down more stuff on October and really try to get some legs underneath that story and project as I'm wrapping up this one. I would like to be further along on that, but uh, 
it and a little bit of page fright, writer's block stuff. Not exactly really, just need to devote some time to it. So I'll still take my notebook with me tomorrow as we go out traveling and if I get any ideas or maybe just not wait for ideas but just start writing and see what happens. But probably format some more pages tomorrow night because it's something that's got to be done. It's not real glamorous work. And uh, hopefully I'll have some other interesting um, footage for you tomorrow. Um, like I said, <laughs> it's kind of the easiest thing when uh, f my folks are in town to just snap some interesting stuff to show you guys, work on the stuff when I get home and upload it. If I'm drawing something, I, you know, I'd show you a photo of that, but for formatting text in Photoshop, that that's lame. Anyway, you guys take it easy. Uh, have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Say, say your play, mate. Come out and play with me And bring your daddy Stay, climb up my apple tree Slide down my rainbow Into the cellar door And we'll be jolly friends forevermore Say, say your play, mate Come out and play